Okay, hey guys. Happy New Year. Um, it's Amanda here, and I am going to bring you guys a really quick video, and I'm testing out some new makeup that I got for Christmas. So, the first thing that I got that I think is, I'm still kind of like seeing how I feel about it, but it's this new brightening serum by wayofwill.com. And it basically said to put a couple drops in your hands, warm it up, and then like pat it into your skin. So you can see I'm like, it's supposed to make you super glowy. We'll see. Um, and next I'm going to go on with just a quick foundation. It's the Lancome Absolute Makeup. And it's in the shade Absolute Pearl. And this isn't new. Um... But I like this one, and I know it just kind of blends in really easy. And I like a few minutes uh, to do my makeup. So this is going to be a really quick look today. And then I have a new, I got a new ceramic heated straightening brush that I tried out yesterday, and I really liked it. So I'm going to go over my hair because I slept on my hair. I slept in a, I can't sleep in a high ponytail. I don't know if you guys can, but um, it bugs me. So I know that's like the best for your hair, keep it nice, but it's really hard for me to sleep in a high ponytail. So you can see it got a little, my hair's wavy, so it got a little wavy on me. All right, so we're just blending this in, and I put a moisturizer on this morning. I just used my Clinique Dramatically Different Gel. really like that one in the winter because it just is really hydrating and it's not really thick. And then I put on the serum, and I have to say it does... It is making my makeup going really nice, and um, so I'm kind of liking the serum. I'm not a big serum person, so I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it or not, but so far, so good. Okay, next we are going to set this and kind of tone down some of the shine that's going on with, I don't even think they make this powder anymore. <laughs> this is an old powder. Uh, Ready, Set, Gorgeous from CoverGirl. It used to be in a blue case, but then they changed it to this white one with like pink, goldish pink on it. Um, and I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I wish they would bring it back because it was one of my faves. And you may have noticed I filled in my brows already. And this is a Christmas present that I had asked for. It's called Queen of the Fill. And I think I've shown it to you guys before, but I can put a little bit more on. Set that a little bit with some powder. And I was going to show you this new eyebrow kit that I got, but I opened it up and I need to read on it because it's called Bigger and Bolder Brows. It has three different products in it and it looks really intense. So I need to read on it. It comes with a whole guide with tips and tricks so and figure out what's going on with that. So, tried and true, this is Queen of the Fill. It's just in like a little wand. It's almost like mascara for your eyebrows. I'm just painting that on. Blending that in a little bit. And next we are going to go in with an eyeshadow. This is a new one, Clinique Day Into Date. It's really cute. It's just a little duo with like a light brown and then a darker brown. So we're going to pop on the lighter brown shade all over the eye. And just up to the brow bone, but not on the brow bone. We'll leave that there. And this is just a really pretty color. I'm going to take it a little bit down underneath, too. You can see the difference. Just Even just a swipe of, if you only have time to do one little color in your eyes, just a nice neutral brown will always add dimension to your eye and just make you look more put together. I got a ton of new makeup for Christmas, so I'll be doing a couple of videos to show you what I got and to talk about what I like and how I've been using it. And then I'm just popping the darker shade just a little bit into the crease in the outer corner. Not a lot. But I really like this. I've used this a couple times now, and you can really blend it and make it do a really nice smoky, like a brown smoky eye with this. 
Okay. And then we're just going to do a little bit of highlighter. This is High Beam by Benefit. And just a little bit right there. And then I just take a little bit and do right above the Cupid's bow. A little tiny bit on the chin. Okay, nice. And then we're going to do two different pops of color today because this is a really quick look. We are going to do a bright kind of mauve pink on the lips. This is from Lancome. And it's in the shade Bite the Bullet. And it's like a real kind of baby pink. Color. Nice. And then we are going to do a crazy blue eyeliner on the waterline. So I like this trick if you don't have a lot of time to do a ton of eyeliner and mascara, just popping a little bit on the bottom. This is Wet n Wild in Sapphire and Ice, and it is pretty intense. It looks like it needs sharpened too, but we're going to make this work. And we're going to pop that in on the waterline. You guys will see how intense this is. So I'm talking about, and I wear glasses, so it won't look as bright <laughs> when I put my glasses on. But I'd like that to have a little bit of like a peekaboo uh, color right on the eyes. I think that's it. Uh, I think that's all we're going to do makeup wise today because I don't have a ton of time. That's all I feel like doing. And then I wanted to show you this is the new brush I got from Daphne. It's the original heated brush. But what you do, it took me a little bit to kind of figure it out yesterday. You kind of hold your hair. I find if you hold it up and then kind of brush it slowly, you want to make sure you get a big chunk of hair in it, but it really does kind of work great for straightening. So I haven't even brushed my hair this morning, so it's going through my hair and very nicely. Now, it does get pretty hot. There's no, from what I can tell, like no adjustable heat setting. So that's like my only critique is I don't even know how hot this thing is, but it doesn't feel like so hot it's gonna like fry my hair off but I do recommend using a heat protectant spray or something um, anytime you're gonna use a heated styling product so I put mine on yesterday so I should have reapplied it but that's okay and you just really are brushing your hair with this thing it's pretty easy At first, I thought this was a uh, dryer brush. So I think I've seen a couple of those brushes where you, it like blow dries your hair and uh, kind of straightens it. I don't know. But this is pretty cool. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really like this. And what's really nice is it takes 45 seconds to heat up. So you can see like the green lights on. So when you first plug it in, the red light comes on and you just press this button and it takes 45 seconds and it turns green. Okay. You can see I that took me like 90 seconds, two minutes. And it really took my hair from horrible to I couldn't go anywhere to at least now I could run out and it wouldn't be embarrassed if someone saw my my hair. So I'm sure you could just keep going over this and like perfecting it, but we're not going for perfection, we just are going for a nice look so I definitely like this this is kind of my one of my favorite uh, beauty items I got for Christmas this year so this is the look um, I might later kind of do some bobby pins or just pin back these front pieces um, but I got my hair colored recently it's a lot lighter so I kind of am just liking uh, leaving it down and seeing like the light the light pieces 
And then I can pop on my glasses and I'm ready to go. That's the look. So I will be having some more videos coming for you guys with all new products. I'm going to try out this, try this out, figure it out, and I'll walk you through it on the next video once I read through the, the five-page guide <laughs> that came with it. Uh, but for now, my two things I'm really liking from this is the Queen of the Fill Eyebrow Pencil, the serum, the brightening serum for the face. feels really nice and uh, under your makeup. And the the Daphne straightening brush. And uh, it's beeping at me, so I'm going to say that's time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.